Today in the Boot Guy, we're talking about the Red Wing Heritage 3141, the classic chugga boot. So if you're about to start wearing these types of boots, these classic heritage type boots, and you're really on the fence on which model you should try on first, Start with the Chugga Boot. It's a wonderful introduction to the line. With the Atlas sole, which is a nice, soft, urethane sole with lots of bounce, mixed with the hard leather footbed and just the soft briar leather on the outside, when you put this thing on, you're not gonna feel like a stranger in it. It's gonna feel like it's part of you, like, it's, like this is where your foot wants to be. Now some of the other Heritage Boots, when you put them on, they actually have that classic boot feel so you feel like you're standing on a hard board or you know you're walking around on a two by four or something and sure the sales guy is going to tell you what well, needs to break in and you got to go through all those steps but when you slide this thing on your foot with that atlas sole it really does make up for that hard feel you can see where the boots going to end up in a short period of time now about this boot well fully welted with a Goodyear leather welt so that means the boot is resolable so once you break this thing in and two or three years down the line when you want to have those soles ripped off and new ones put on it's the perfect template to do so the briar oil slick leather is just one shade away from being red and just one shade away from being brown it's a perfect color it's a perfect mix it's a very casual looking boot and it fits those types of environments. The construction, all the stitching, every part on this boot is exceptionally beautiful and it should be because this is our American craftsmanship at its best. On the collar of this boot, you're gonna find it's just a simple fold over. So with the height of it, you know that that's gonna be just enough to make this boot extra comfortable as you start to wear it. There's no need for a big thick pad or anything when you got leather that's this nice. Now they send the boot along with a regular Taslon lace and I'm sure that's one of the first things that guys are gonna to wanna to pop out and put in a nice wax lace to kinda of emphasize that classic look. And if that's the case, the lace length is 36 inches so you can just order yourself a set of flat wax 36 inch laces and just pop these out right away. Inside the boot is just a basic hard footbed in there, but that hard leather footbed is gonna shape and form to your foot over some time. It's not gonna happen in a weekend, it's not gonna happen in a month. It's gonna take a little time of you actually putting in time and energy into breaking this boot in so that that footbed takes on the curvatures and the shapes of your foot. Now it's not waterproof, it's not oil resistant, it's none of that. It's just a leather and sole boot, so you're gonna have to take care of it. This is the type of boot that you gotta put some love into. You gotta clean it, you gotta oil it, you gotta brush out all the little dirt spots that end up inside the welt, inside the stitches, if you want this boot to last. And you would think, with the money you're gonna invest in a pair of these, that you're gonna see this more as an investment. This is something you're gonna take some pride in. You're gonna be cleaning it more often. You're gonna be showing it off more often. So, take care of them. Now about the size and the fit on this beautiful boot. Well, I have to say, buy your size if you're buying them online. But if you get the chance to walk into a Red Wing store and properly get measured, do so. If there's somebody in your town or in your city or in your neighborhood that sells these Red Wing Heritage boots, stop in, get your foot measured by the salesperson so that they can show you where your foot should be. Personally, what I found is that it's right from my regular boot size right into a pair of these. It was a perfect fit. I hear a lot of people say that they downsize a half size or a full size. Okay, when you're in the shop, you can try that. You can try putting on a tighter pair so it kind of stretches and forms to your foot if that's what you want. Personally, I like to have a little room inside my boots. So my size, a nice pair of wool socks, and I got the perfect boot. So that's the Red Wing Heritage 3141 Chugga Boot in Briar Oil Slick Leather. Hey, if you've worn any of the Chugga Boots or any of the Red Wing Heritage Boots, please comment below. Let guys know about your experience of breaking in the hard footboard. How long did it take? 
Are you still enjoying your boots today? Just simple questions like that. Please, if you got answers to them, if they're being asked, please answer them. Hey, if you want to see some real detailed photos of this Red Wing Heritage boot, swing by to bootguy.com. There I'll have a real nice slideshow with all the little nooks and crannies and all the little parts in there. And if you're looking to pick a pair up, I'll have a link there that'll make it a little bit easier getting a pair of these on your feet. Please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below, it really helps out. And if you should have any questions about purchasing Red Wing Heritage boots or just boots in general, shoot me over an email. Alright, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy, thanks a lot for watching.